You're six, 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 six. Oh, it's, and it's whoever gets the nine seems to kind of make the difference in those conditions. Yeah, it is. So, but yeah, so you had a Pete and Beezer and him. Are you? <laughs> well, Dino, you're awesome. Uh, and congratulations. Semi-final, not a bad result for Dino. Well, guys, the final is upon us. And Joel, take it away with all of our cunning linguists on the webcast stand. All right, Dino, yes indeed, my friend, absolutely. This is the start of the heat. And uh, to everyone out there, we'll pass those comments to GT along about his headwear. Don't worry, we gave him a bit of a ribbing about that this morning already when he uh, showed up on site wearing that ridiculous getup. But uh, he's having a great time and has been doing a great job down on the cliff here at Mundaka for the entire week. And if he wants to, you know, show a little personal flair on the last day, why not? Currently out in the water, you saw them just a minute ago playing rock, paper, scissors for the first wave. Uh, our eight-time world champ, I guess luck is with him today as he won the rock, paper, scissors against Bobby as well. That was the opening exchange. Of course, we will bring you, be bringing you replays of both those waves. And we will let Dino and Dino... Uh, talk you through both of them, but the opening salvo for this final of the 2006 Billabong Pro Mundaka currently out in the water with our now eight-time world champ, the East Coaster from the U.S. of A., Cocoa Beach, Florida, Kelly Slater in red, up against 2006 Foster's Men's World Tour rookie out of Santa Barbara, California in yellow, Bobby Martinez. It's an East Coast, West Coast, USA showdown here in Mundaka for the Billabong Pro 2006. This is the final, and what a barn burner it's going to be, Dino and Dino. Well, as you can see, the current world champion, Kelly Slater, out the back waiting in red. We'll have to wait and see how those first two scores come through, but Bobby Martinez looking on fire on that last wave. We'll have to wait and see what the judges reward that wave, but Bobby taking it really seriously. We'll have to wait and see if Kelly is uh, going to attack this heat with the same type of attitude he has taken this entire year with the no bar no holds barred. Just no holds barred. barred. You'd have to think that that's what he's going to do, Dino. You know, he's got the momentum. He's picked up yesterday, put his game face on uh, for the rounds at Bacchio, and he's brought his uh, A game with him back here to Mundaka, once again taking out Joel Parkinson in semifinal number one, our current world number one. There's Bobby Martinez, currently seventh in the world in his rookie season, as high as second in the world earlier on. Well, Bobby Martinez getting the better of the exchange, being rewarded a 7.0 for his opening ride, and it looks like Kelly Slater opening up with a 5.67. So Bobby Martinez putting it on the, the current world title holder, Kelly Slater, and taking him to the taking cleaners it. on that first exchange with a 7.0. Plenty of time remaining in here, the final of the 2006 Mundaka Pro. Once again, a 35-minute final. We are in the first five minutes of this one. And uh, once again, Kelly Slater, Bobby Martinez. And we're going to go over to some words. How Kelly prepares for a heat. Sorry about that, folks. There we go. A few words from Kelly Slater, how he prepares for a heat. How he prepared for a heat. Um, I generally won't surf ahead of time. I'll just usually kind of get ready, watch the waves, um, just try to hydrate and drink a lot of water. And uh, I don't eat much. I just, uh, I'll just have... Usually some juice in the mornings and um, and try to keep something to sustain me throughout the day. It just depends, you know, where you are too. Because like in California, I know where to go and get tons of good food to load up on. But um, I've been stuck like in South Africa before, where I was drinking water with sugar in it just because I needed some energy. And uh, that happened in 03. I was surfing that final day. I was just dying, just running out of energy, and, and um, I needed something to get me through. So. You know, as you resort to whatever you can find sometimes. Well, for everyone who wanted to know how Kelly Slater prepares for a heat, now you know. And as for this one, well, we can't hide it from you because you saw it on screen. He did have uh, a quick celebratory sip of Foster's beer. And we saw Mick Fanning dumping a Foster's beer over his head as well, congratulating our eight-time world champ. 
We had a quick exchange there uh, while we were listening to Kelly. A 2.0 for Bobby Martinez, a 1.5 for Kelly Slater. And I think we've got some replay action from that first exchange coming up. Here we are, first of red, Mr. Kelly Slater. Well, it looks like Kelly's a little bit behind the, the whitewater on this wave. As you can see, all the whitewater in front of him as he bounces over that little whitewater section. Uh, actually, getting un getting unstuck there. I think that was his uh, yeah, that was his last wave, one point five. So here you go, Bobby Martinez, up and running on this replay in yellow. Current world number seven as he zips over this whitewater section, gaining plenty of momentum and a nice little floater bump there, catching a little bit of an edge there. And that look that wave looked like it had quite a bit of opportunity. Had potential, but as you can see, still a little bit of onshore wind here at Mundaka, so c creating a little bit of bump in the face for Bobby Martinez on that one. Just went down, so Kelly out the back with priority, looking for a 3.34. And uh, now a few words from possible World Tour Rookie of the Year for 2006, Bobby Martinez, and how he prefer prepares for his heats. <laughs> Sometimes I make sure before I eat, sometimes I don't. The only thing is I'm, I, I, I got to be there on time, you know. Other than that, it doesn't matter. You know, I don't go out and party or nothing. You know, the night before, I just um, keep, it, keep it cool and um, just make sure I'm on time for my heat. And we're back here in the box. Just a little low in the action right now as we wait for the next set. Go to some of our emails, our Triple Crown contest and event director, Randy Rarick. Writing in, how's it going, Randy? Just letting everyone know that sunset has been 6 to 10 foot and pumping. And, of course, still plenty of suspense left during the year to see if our eight-time world champ, Kelly Slater, can win another Triple Crown as well. We'll see next month, November and December. It all goes down on the north shore of Hawaii, Haleiwa, Sunset, and then, of course, the Rip Curl Pro Pipeline Masters. So still plenty of action, of course, left to come on the Foster's ASP Men's World Tour this year. Of course, the event coming up, uh, the Novashin Festival in Brazil in the month of November. And then we move straight off to the North Shore of Oahu for the Triple Crown with uh, the last two WQSs of the season at Haleiwa and Sunset. And, of course, the uh, grand finale, event number 11 on the Foster's ASP Men's World Tour Pipeline Masters. Here's Kelly Slater up and riding once again, Dino. Well, there you go. It looks like he's uh, in form once again, just blasting those first two turns out the back as he's riding the white wire, looking for the ski for assistance out the back. But, man, those first two turns on that wave looked really good, Dave, as he put them straight through the lip. Well, getting his groove on on that one and, of course, riding that little reform right onto the back of Gary Elkerton's sled. Give him a quick lift back out to the lineup. And uh, Kelly, I think just having fun out there. He's still looking super loose. Uh, you know, not the best wave, but still only needed a 3.34. It looks like he'll have gotten it on that one. So Kelly Slater still with 26 minutes and 30 seconds remaining, about to move into the lead of this Billabong Pro. 2006 Mundaka final. Let's take another look at that one. Dino a 4.33. Well, perfect precision surfing from Kelly Slater as he pops that first lip. Not really getting his tail above the lip, but nice uh, form there. As that one, he snaps his tail out the back on that one. His second turn, getting plenty of release through that tail out the back of the wave, Dave. Really pushing his back foot through, uh, through that turn. Whereas the first turn, he kind of just placed it. Absolutely, Dino. And, of course, not managing to connect that through to the inside section. So the scoring potential ending there for our eight-time world champ, Kelly Slater. Bobby Martinez now out the back with priority, looking for a 3.0. And I'm sure he'll be wanting to put much more than three points on the board on his next wave. A uh, little bit of hassling there. Looks like there could be... Yeah, little bump coming here, and it's Bobby Martinez, Kelly, forcing him to take off on this one. Well, Bobby up and riding. Nice little snap on the open face for Bobby Martinez, the rookie from Santa Barbara, as he snaps another section, and then a little pop bank there. 
Man, Bobby's looking really loose and fast. Well, kind of having a quick check out the back to see what kind of action's going. And he's keeping his momentum moving forward as he's uh, looking like he's looking for the reform. I think Kelly Slater might have been a wave on, on a wave out the back as, as you can see Bobby's still going. Doing a nice little float, floater there and another little snap. Oh, Bobby kind of using Kelly's strategy against him on that one. He did manage to uh, surf that one through, connect with the inside section. There's our water patrol uh, right there to pick up Bobby and whip him back out the back. Still 24 minutes and 30 seconds remaining. We will be coming to a replay of Kelly Slater's last wave. Kelly did pick the one up behind Bobby, but uh, came unstuck about halfway through. That replay will be coming up in just a few seconds. Here it is. Eight-time world champ Kelly Slater on his last wave. Well, nice big vertical pop on the open face for Kelly Slater, who was just crowned his eighth world title. And he must be feeling good right around now as he snaps that second turn. I think this was uh, his uh, 4.33, Dave, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. Yeah, it was, actually. No, you're absolutely correct on that one, Dino. That was his 4.33, his last wave that... We have not seen on screen so far, but that we will be bringing to you a 4.83. And last of yellow, Bobby Martinez, a 6.17. So Bobby is now solidly out in front, and Kelly Slater needs a 7.50. Now, of course, as we saw in the semifinals, highly capable of putting that kind of score on the board. Uh, but we have bottomed out in the tide, and the tide is coming in here, which could give us a little bit of push, but could also make things a little bit more difficult for the surfers on their backhand if things can really be difficult for the eight-time world champ. But as of now, Bobby Martinez, a 7-0 and a 6-1-7, the pressure is on, but not on Bobby. He's putting it on our eight-time world champ. Kelly Slater needing a 7.5, Dino. This one's getting exciting. We thought the suspense was over after that semifinal number one, but not at all. Let's take a look at Kelly's last wave of 4.83. Where, as you can see on the replay, he's taken off here and a uh, nice little snap on the open face, more or less just a setup turn. As you can see, him jigging and jagging down the line, and as, as you can see, his oncoming section, kind of a speed float, uh, kind of with a little kick from his back foot to generate more speed as he rounds his neck section and floats over that oncoming foam onto the open face. and. Looks like he bobbled a little bit through that turn, but recovered really quickly with a nice little snap as the eight-time world champion, Kelly Slater, feeling really good right around now. And Well, until he went down on the end there, just kind of dug a rail, but you can see his smile on his face. He's, He's got to be, be on cloud nine <laughs> right now. He's got to be on cloud eight, right? <laughs> eight ball, and here's the 617. Last of Santa Barbara, California is Bobby Martinez. Well, really smooth, lanky, wiry surfing from Bobby Martinez. He's, as he's pumping down the line, really smooth, wicked surfing as he hacks that open face snap right there. Really, I think that was the, the turn that really rewarded him the score on this wave. Nice open face pop on the little section coming at him as he pops another section. This part of the way, he kind of looks back and kind of checks what, what Kelly's doing out the back as he snaps once again, kind of just weaving and wo weaving around through this midsection, keeping his board speed as he moves up on his board, almost catching a little rail there as he gets into this double up right here. He kind of snaps, and unfortunately for him, coming unstuck on that last turn, had he have made that and did a, maybe another turn or two, he might have been looking at, you know, a half a point more on that wave. Yeah, up into the six six sevens or even the seven point range. Nice overview. You can see our water patrol waiting down below. A little set rolling through the zone here. And uh, Bobby Martinez out the back all by himself, Dino. Let's look at this one. Possibly the biggest wave of this final so far. Wow, big snap on the first turn there as he's generating plenty of speed to get around the section. Big foam climb. And we can wait and see what this wave's gonna do, but you can bet this is going to be a serious score as he hits the open face. Big snap and another big closeout blast there. Wow. And another big slam off that oncoming section. And you can bet Bobby Martinez is 
Really happy with that wave, Dave. He unloaded about seven turns on that wave. Wow. Do you know with three letters, you just said it all there, buddy. Wow is absolutely right. And uh, Kelly Slater may have won that eighth world title already, but nonetheless, Bobby Martinez wants to take home the, the crown here at the Bobong Pro Mundaka, and if he keeps surfing like that, it is going to be a done deal. Still 19 minutes and 45 seconds remaining, but the judges' scores coming in on this one. An excellent wave score. Kelly Slater, his last wave, a 6.1. We'll bring you the replay on that. And an 8.83 for last of yellow, Bobby Martinez. West Coast is in the house. Slater now needs a 9.73. Let's take a look at his last wave, a 6.1. Well, if you watch this wave, Kelly Slater, nice little floater off the top there. A little air drop, kind of catching. Maybe um, a little rolling up the windows there for uh, the eight-time world champion, Kelly Slater, as he kind of bobbles around on this wave. Not really looking uh, in form at all on this wave. Kind of every turn kind of a little bit off. Unfortunately for Kelly, as Bobby Martinez, he had to watch Bobby Martinez take off on what looked like the wave of the heat as, as of, yeah, you know, so far that would look like the best wave of the heat that when the Bobby Martinez got right behind that one, Dave. Oh, definitely not the best wave of the day. Of course, Bobby in a semifinal throwing down a 9.4 against uh, Dingo Dean Morrison, one of the Cooley kids. And you can actually even see Kelly uh, slapping the water a little bit, or actually you can't, but we can. A little bit disappointed uh, with that 6-1, and I think disappointed as well to have let Bobby Martinez put him into uh, this situation once again Kelly Slater needing a 973 and here's that last 883 from Bobby Martinez Dino walk us through it big snap off the top for Bobby you know this wave really running down a line and most surfers wouldn't even, wouldn't, even, wouldn't have been able to make it around that section but Bobby was so much speed off his front foot driving with the greatest ease onto the open face as he rounds a section here just zipping and zapping down the line Right here, he just zips right over the foam there, just relaxed floater. And you can tell he's just waiting for to get to the green water right here as he blasts that little yeah. section. Still relaxed, never really committing to that turn, but I think right here he kind of really kind of hacks that one. Finally uh, had the opportunity to unload as well as that turn. Those two turns and that, all, all, that three of those, entry, yeah. all three of those last turns on that wave were the money turns, Dave, as... Most of the wave, he was zipping down the line, waiting to get to the open face. Well, that wave actually more impressive uh, in real time than in slow-mo replay. It's nice to be able to watch those turns, but I think it's really the speed and flair of Bobby Martinez that is so pleasing to the eye. We could hear the, uh, the crowd lining the cliff here at Mundaka going absolutely wild on that last one, and the judges appreciating it as well for an 8.83, so... 17 minutes remaining. We are halfway through this 35-minute final, and uh, Santa Barbara, California, is once again can't repeat that enough. West Coast, Bobby Martinez, the California kid in this one. Here it is once again, taking it to our eight-time world champ, Kelly Slater. Tons of speed on this off his front foot here, Bobby Martinez, as he zips over that section, and and right here you can tell he's pumping and weaving and. Blast yeah. that one, kind of catches a little bit right here. He opens up and hacks that open face and blasts. And right here, his closeout turn is just committed, just blasting that final turn. And obviously, the judge is liking it, giving him a 8.83 with 16 minutes and 50 seconds remaining in this final. Kelly Slater needing a 9.73 to take out this contest as we uh, watch the replay once again. The 6.1 of Kelly Slater. These, I oh know this must. Then this is his 2.33. The wave before Bobby's. And nice turn around that section. He looks a little off on the last couple waves there, Dave. Not yep. really feeling the rhythm. Maybe a little bit too excited about winning his eighth world title, but. Very possible. We did see him slapping the water as he paddled back out the back after that last exchange. So the competitive animal is still alive and well inside uh, Kelly Slater right now. That's what I love about him, though, Dave. He still wants it. Uh, of course, you know, and that's why a lot of people, well, here's Kelly 
in real time up and riding on this one, hunting a 973, but on a kind of medium sized insider, Dean. I don't know if the scoring potential is there. Like you had said, Kelly Slater slapping the water on the way back out, you know, about five minutes ago in the heat. And that, that goes to show that he is serious. There's a nice shot of the crowd. Patiently waiting at uh, the winner of the 2006 Mundaka Pro. Crowd is going to go crazy here. Thousands of surf crazed fans on the cliff here in Mundaka to uh, watch this 35 minute 2006 Billabong Pro Mundaka final. 14 minutes and 30 seconds remaining. And here's a set coming for Bobby Martinez. Dino, talk us through this one, man. Let's go, Bobby. Oh, nice big hack on the open face for Bobby Martinez. Really opened up on that first turn. Um, really exciting surfing for Bobby Martinez. And you got to think this is going to be a decent score for him. That well, first turn was completely committed. And Bobby's looking to replace a 7.0. He's connected through the inside section again on this one. Dino kind of dug a rail a little bit there, but continuing along. Bobby that, Martinez. Well, that live, unlike uh, a couple of his other ones, allowed him to open up that first turn, really redirecting and, and using his rail all the way around and hacking it, completing the turn, com you know. That was amazing surfing from Bobby Martinez. We'll have to wait and see what the judges reward that, but... If he wow. would have extended his lead or not. And here's a quick replay of Kelly's last wave. This is a 4.0 ride for Kelly Slater, so not helping him. Kelly looking to replace the 5.67 to close the gap, looking uh, for a 9.73 to take the lead. And uh, to everyone out there in Santa Barbara, California, apparently uh, the first ring con session of the season. Uh, went down or is going down this morning on uh, the west coast in California up there in Santa Barbara but believe you me Bobby Martinez wants to be nowhere else in the world other than Mundaka right now as he is taking it to our eight time world champ with 13 minutes remaining in this one that last one a 5.9 but Bobby Martinez solidly out in front with an 8.83 and a 7.0 leaving Kelly Slater looking, searching frantically for a 9.73 in the last 12 minutes and 30 seconds of this historic final here at stop number 9 on the 2006 Foster's ASP Men's World Tour, the Billabong Pro, Mundaka, and Dino. I'm just on the edge of my seat, dude. Well, here you go. Look at this wave from Bobby as you watch the replay. Big hack on the open face, and, and that way right there, you know, the score came through at a 5.9, but, you know, had he had one or two more of those open face hacks like that first maneuver, he might have been looking at an 8 or better. That was, that was serious surfing from Bobby Martinez, using his rail all the way around, redirecting, as you can see, the, the, finish, the finishing bit of this wave from the replay here. But, wow, Bobby Martinez, he's got to be over the moon at this point, leading the final of the 2006 Mundaka Pro and putting Kelly in almost a combination situation needing a 9.73 and which is his first year on tour he is a rookie and this is amazing he's he's looking like he could take his second win of his banner year his first year on the tour that's a pretty heavy stat don't you think Dave that's an amazing stat. The only person I think with a better, better stat, most wins in his rookie year, is the king himself, Kelly Slater, who we saw take out uh, semifinal number one here against Joel Parkinson, securing himself his eighth world title. So now it's all about who wins the final in this one. And Bobby Martinez, definitely, I think, over the moon, Dino, is even an understatement. He's got to be stoked beyond belief to actually have the eight-time world champ in this almost combo situation here in the last ten minutes of this final here at the Billabong Pro Mundaka as you watch a replay of Kelly's last wave on that one going down and uh, only scoring a 4.0. So I think the momentum has definitely swung in favor of Bobby Martinez in uh, the eyes of the fans on the beach and uh, the eyes of the ASP International judging panel Still 10 minutes remaining, and you can never, ever count Kelly out. But uh, Bobby definitely taking it to him in this one. 
And we're just waiting for the last score of Kelly's last wave, a 6.6. .6. So that is his best wave of the heat, a 6.6 to go with a 6.1. Kelly now needing a 9.23, which is doable, but getting uh, harder and harder by the minute, Dino and Dino. Well, Kelly looks a little discombobulated in this heat. He's not really... Uh, in his, in his normal form, kind of hitting every little bump and, and kind of coming unglued. Maybe he's a little bit excited. You know, he just won his eighth world title. I think about ten minutes into this heat, he started realizing that he wanted to win the final as well. And as you can see him splashing water and kind of getting more serious, it might be a little bit too late as Bobby Martinez has got him on the ropes with only nine minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Kelly does need a 9.23, and which is... Easily attainable, but he needs the opportunity, Dave. With nine minutes and 23 seconds remaining, the opportunities uh, coming less and less often. There they are once again. Our now eight-time world champ, Kelly Slater, out of Cocoa Beach, Florida, up against uh, Bobby Martinez, current world number seven in his rookie year, looking for his second win uh, in his rookie season, already taking out the Billabong Pro, Tahiti at Chopo, uh, in grinding left-handers in those uh, Polynesian reefs out there. And here's Kelly Slater trying to answer back, looking for a 9-2-3, Dino. Well, as you can see, Kelly Slater um, kind of getting stuck on that second turn, but nice opening turn for Kelly Slater. As you see him rounding around this section, nice little hook off the top. Looking well, really relaxed. He looks a little bit more on on this wave, Dave, as you can see him. Um, well, he's managed to connect this one through to the inside section, Dino, but, you know, as you say, got one big turn out the back, then kind of bogged it on his second one and the judges are really not going to throw down the excellent wave scores unless you link together at least two big moves out the back and possibly a third through that uh, second closeout section and Kelly definitely had a good flow going on that one but I think was lacking the uh, critical maneuver or the radical maneuvers and committed maneuvers in the most critical section of the wave on that one to get a 9-2-3. May replace the 6-1-0, maybe even the 6-6, six, six, but a 9-2-3. I'm not a judge, but uh, I think he's a bit far off on that one. Well, I think that, you know, he has a chance to better his score for sure. As you can see, the, the judge's score is coming in and he will better his score. Actually, he's rewarded with a 7.67, which takes him a little, you know, takes him a little bit out of being so on the road. Uh, now he only yep. needs a 8.17. There's a replay on that one. As you can see the replay, that first turn was the money turn, Dave, as he slammed and snapped through that first turn. And uh, as you can see here, he looks really on on this wave. Looking like he has his rhythm going. And well, I, no, go for it. Well, as Kelly Slater goes down, but I think that was a save. Was that his... That was the 6-6. Six, six. Well, that was either the 6-6 six, six or the 7-6-7. Seven, seven. I thought that was a 7-6-7. Seven, seven. Kelly Slater, either way, now needing an 8.17. So little by little, bit by bit, digging himself out of his hole. And uh, 8.17, definitely doable. His best wave score up till now, a 7.67. We're going to go back to the replay of his last wave that has brought him to within an 8.17 striking distance of taking the lead and the win here in this Billabong Pro Mendoca final. Well, as you can see on this wave, he really had a, a nice rhythm throughout all his turns on this wave, really connecting them all together as he snaps that open face and kind of looks for the double up and, you know, wipes his nose a little bit. Really relaxed. I think we might have had uh, one or two maneuvers out the back that we didn't get to see on this wave, but that wave right there put Kelly Slater in a much better position with only six minutes and 17 seconds remaining. Kelly Slater, who is in second position in red, and in second priority position, as you can see, yellow, Bobby Martinez, our current heat leader, so who has first priority and basically has his choice of any wave that comes in at this point, Dave. All right, Dino, yeah, there they are out in the lineup. Sorry, I missed your question, but we do have a few words from Kelly Slater on will he retire or not after he's won his eighth world title. Here is his answer, which really isn't one. I have thought about it, you know, I mean, uh, you know, what am I going to do next year, but, you know, this, I get, uh, it's kind of, I got, when I stepped away from the tour, it allowed me, it allowed it to be fresh for me again, and now, um, you know, sometimes I feel a little stifled with things, and, uh, you know, sometimes I, I'll be on tour and 
I'm going to call from Shane Dorian and Jay. I'm going to turn to it. I'm going to call it Jay. Uh, and also, uh, I still have that, that, uh, desire to, to, you know, last minute fly to Chile or, you know, go to Hawaii or, uh, fly to Japan. You know, I was going to go to Japan a couple weeks ago and fly to Hawaii. I just didn't go up in between events. I could have made it, but it's just, there's so much travel. I thought I'd go to Japan and fly to Japan. I thought I'd go to Japan and fly to Japan. I thought I'd go to Japan and fly to Japan. I thought I'd go to Japan and fly to Japan. I thought I'd go to Japan and fly to Japan. You know, I'm kind of starting to really have the urge for that freedom to do whatever I want, uh, whatever I want. And, and I'm pretty dedicated to the right now, so... Ooh, and there they are, the two trophies for our first and second place finishers here at the Billabong Pro Mundaka 2006 and back here at the Mundaka Twilight Zone. That's right, it is Friday the 13th and uh, usually a very bad luck day for everyone else in the world unless you're Kelly Slater winning his eighth world championship title on the Foster's ASP Men's World Tour here in Mundaka on Friday the 13th, Dino. Well, as you can see, the tide is rushing in once again and the conditions changing here at Mundaka like they always do. And our current heat leader is yellow, Bobby Martinez, who is currently rated number seventh and on the bubble to make the top five oh. here in his rookie season on the Foster's WCT and people World been, Tour. People have been crunching some numbers, Dino, and apparently uh, Bobby will move back into the top five after this one. And uh, now the race is really on, still between Taj Burrow, Andy Irons, Joe Parkinson, Mick Fanning, and Bobby Martinez as to who can finish in the number two spot this season because uh, Bobby, if he does win this one, and right now the conditions are playing in his favor with this incoming Todd and the light onshore winds really not offering up a whole lot of scoring potential out there for our eight-time world champ Kelly Slater. So if Bobby does win this one, he'll be the only second surfer this year to have won two events. There will only be Kelly and Bobby in that situation. That's a great situation to be in for Bobby Martinez as uh, we wrap up the tour with the Novishin Festival in Brazil coming up. And, of course, from December 10th to 20th, the Rip Curl Pro Pipe Masters on the north shore of Oahu, the crowning jewel in the Triple Crown. And here's Kelly Slater up and riding, Dino, looking for an 817. Well, I think he knew as well as we did that that one wasn't going to be the one. Well, the rookie wasn't easily baited in, into that wave. Uh, looked like Kelly was trying to bait Bobby Martinez into going on that wave, and that would allow Kelly to own the lineup and have first priority, but Bobby didn't, uh, didn't flinch. He just sat there like he always does in relaxed form as he waits for what could be the closing wave as he cl could claim the two 2006 Billabong Pro here at Mundaka f fulfilling his long time childhood dreams here on the WCT Tour. No doubt, Dino. And uh, as we spoke earlier, uh, Bobby Martinez did win the 2006 Billabong Pro Tahiti at Chopo. And here's a few words from Bobby Martinez on his first ever win on the Foster's ASP Men's World Tour. I mean, a win was great. I've always, you know, dreamed of winning for it to come true. It was cool. Um, but, I mean, it didn't mean, it doesn't mean nothing now, you know. At the last three events, I've, I've done really bad. And, um, and I mean, it, I've had, like, major ups and downs, you know, this year. You know, the, the biggest high I could ever get from, from surfing an event to losing the very first round and being completely bummed. So, I, it's been, like, you know, I've felt everything that, you know, winning and losing, losing when you, you know, when you don't want to lose, and, um, but I mean, yeah, I didn't know what to expect coming into this year, and I I'm glad things have turned out how they were, and, um, you know, I, I hope these next three condos out, unlike my last three, you know, because it ain't that fun losing. Well, and just 50 seconds away from possibly his second win in his rookie season on the WCT, Dino, this is Bobby Martinez going to town. <laughs> Bobby Martinez unloading that reversal on that, that finishing maneuver as he's uh, and still weaving his way continuing in. Continuing along on this inside section, that uh, front side reverse just left you speechless, Dino. Unbelievable. This is the victory lap, folks for Bobby Martinez because 
He's sitting on a 7-0 and an 883, and personally, I think that was better than a 7-0. We've got 15 seconds remaining here. Kelly is out the back all by himself with priority, and we've absolutely loved it. A big shout out to everyone as they count down the final here, this East-West rivalry. You've been great out on the net. Thank you so much, and a huge round of congratulations to our 2006 Billabong Pro Mundaka.